All right, we are here. Welcome. Um, it this Sakina Book Club has been a long process in starting. Um, some of you were a part of the uh, Sakina Recovery Program last year, and I know this was a big request to do this at uh, when we finished. So we're here now. Alhamdulillah. Uh, kind of a little post COVID or coming out of COVID things, starting things back up again. Alhamdulillah. It's really good to be here with everyone. There are five basic things that we want to kind of remember as we go through this as a group. And these are just really good um, things to follow in general. You can take this and apply this to uh, any, any different group that you're doing. Uh, they are very encouraged. Um, if you've listened to the podcast, I think it's one of the first episodes I did with a uh, dear friend, uh, Ramin Rahatsad. Um, he uses this in his study groups, which is where I actually learned of it. And uh, it's modeled after a uh, similar group agreement that the, the Ta Talif Collective here in the US uses primarily for a lot of their uh, inner, uh, their personal groups that they do. Um, and Talif is a, uh, it's a kind of a new convert educational program that's here in the US. So um, basically the first one is confidentiality and trust. And I particularly want to start with this one because I am recording this class. Um, so I wanted to make sure I explain what some of this is for you guys. This is being recorded so that you have a reference afterwards. Uh, I'm not widely releasing the entire recording to anyone. Um, it will not ever be public unless I have explicit permission from everyone here for that. I will be putting individual portions um, up on YouTube for general benefit for everyone. They will not feature anyone other than myself and the slides that have been prepared. Um, but that also going and being said, um, if anyone here in class wants to share something personal about themselves, confidentiality is that we don't go and share those things um, outside of this class, just kind of as a basic guideline. We want to build trust amongst each other. The science of the religion is also a trust from Allah to us. So we're, we're given many things as a trust. And this is an important one that we have that we should hold fast to and keep in our own hearts, uh, most importantly. So the second one is suspending judgment. Uh, this comes from the Arabic phrase, husnudan. you may have heard of husnudan billah, having a good opinion of Allah. Well, we also need to have a good opinion of each other as well. So, um, don't be quick to judge, be quick to assume a good intent is probably the best thing. Uh, and this is a good practice, not just among uh, ourselves, but this is one that is good uh, elsewhere as well. You know, I personally, um, I work at Amazon now as a part of management teams, and we actually have in the Amazon leadership principles, uh, something very similar to this, where we're always supposed to assume good intent of employees, of customers, and things like that. So it's a, it, this is a good thing, not just in terms of our religion, but this is a good thing in terms of just our life as well, which is a beautiful thing, which I think we'll, we'll, we'll notice as we study the life of the Prophet, وسلم, is that many of the aspects of his life are things that will beautify our character, not just in terms of spiritually, but also in this world here as well, in the, in the, the dunya. Um, next, uh, this is a phrase, a quote by Imam Zaid Shakr, come as you are to Islam as it is. And I think this is particularly good for those who are new to the religion, um, or perhaps not even Muslim yet. This, this class is open to everyone. So come as you are, uh, but Islam itself is a unified Religion, codified religion that has been here for well over 1400 years now. Alhamdulillah. Uh, it is the last and final religion, the deen presented by Allah. And that is a very important thing. We don't want to go about changing the religion to make it match our own states, uh, our own ideas and thoughts. Uh, we want to make sure it stays as it is. And alhamdulillah, we have a great tradition that has been passed down to us to understand it and um, 
like I said, that being said, it, it, everyone is welcome. Uh, come as you are, we accept everyone here, regardless of your background. No knowledge rule. This one I think is very important again, also for, for new people coming in. Um, there are going to be a lot of terms, particularly Arabic terms that some of us may not be familiar with. And I may completely butcher in my attempts at pronunciating, uh, pronouncing them. So please forgive me for that. I will do my best to try to translate as I go. Uh, those of you who know Arabic, please feel free to correct me if I uh, speak in air. And uh, as well, if, if I do miss something, uh, please, please call me out on that as well. Um, I have for my, for the most part in all of these slides, I've tried to italicize any word that uh, could be considered foreign, um, just so that we can help uh, highlight that for us. Uh, and as a reminder that we want to try to translate as we go. So um, great example here on this page, the phrase um, having a good opinion, basically. Uh, and then the last thing here is step up and step back. So when we are in discussions, this is a very good thing. Uh, we wanna make sure everyone gets uh, as equal an opportunity as possible to speak if that's something that they want. So when we are opening up for discussions and stuff uh, and having questions, uh, then uh, we'll try our best to make sure those who haven't gotten a chance to speak um, get elevated to the front and those who have uh, spoken quite a lot um, can maybe keep their their mute on for a little bit and give others a chance to to say something if they want. Uh, just these are just some basic good guidelines, like I said, um, no hard and strict rules. But uh, this is kind of the agreement that we want to try to follow as best as possible for success. I also have here some additional recommendations. These are things um, just from my own life that I have noticed that are good, and also things that some of the scholars have recommended for us. So first of all, um, when we kind of know where the class is going, uh, hopefully, inshallah, I'll be able to say, okay, next week, the goal is to get through these pages or these chapters. Um, try your best to read them before the class. That way we have an idea of uh, what's being covered. And um, you can maybe be thinking on your own of some questions that may be in your head lingering from those passages or some really uh, in beautiful insights that occurred to you that you want to share, uh, et cetera. Um, taking notes. Um, that can be part of that, very helpful, as well as um, outlining chapters. This is something that is uh, a really good study technique. So as you go through, you can kind of make an outline of where things go. Um, that's pretty much the basis of how a lot of uh, these, these slides will be ba based on is kind of outline form for where things are at. So uh, you can use these as a model as well if you'd like uh, afterwards. But doing this beforehand is also a really good, helpful tool for studying. Um, also, obviously, reflect on any uh, supplemental material. I will commonly have a few extra things um, that maybe be covered here in our meetings uh, that you can then read throughout the week if you want. Um, I'll be sharing a quite a few, I think, this week. So don't worry about going through all of them. Uh, these are just supplemental. Nothing's required, really. Um, just like I said, this is recommendations for success. Um, when studying a science like this, it is recommended often by the scholars to take a bath beforehand. Um, the, the wusl is what this is called in our religion, the, the full body purification. So this is something that's recommended before studying, uh, before taking a class, before sitting with scholars, um, before going to the masjid often, uh, things like that. Um, as well as putting on uh, good clothing, uh, your best clothing, um, it's kind of, in a way, it, it's likened to if you were having this class, um, you're, you're imagining that uh, you're, you're, well, <clears throat> the class itself is about um, the Prophet, so it's, it's like, if you're having a class about him, then you should imagine that you're being in his presence, and you would want to do your best and be in your best behavior when you're in such a situation. So I think that's kind of the, the, the rationale behind it, uh, from my understanding. Uh, and then uh, lastly, it's also recommended to um, kind of beautify yourself, um, particularly with perfumes, um, putting on some incense, some oud uh, is highly recommended as well. You know, the Prophet, one thing we'll discover is that 
he was very frugal in most of his life. He didn't like to spend money. Uh, he would often go to bed very poor because he would give away his money to someone else. However, the one thing that he was never frugal on was on perfumes. He would spend lots of money on perfumes. Uh, he would buy the best of perfumes. So this is something that uh, we can then take as an example that uh, we can use this to beautify our own selves with. Um, during class, um, having good adab, good manners, um, this is an important thing uh, generally in life. And I think the topic and nature of this class kind of uh, makes this one very easy as well, inshallah. Uh, following the group agreements as well as a very easy way to kind of instill good manners uh, and behaviors amongst ourselves. And then just some basic Zoom etiquette. Um, it's always encouraged to have your video on and your mic off uh, during uh, parts of the class where it's, it's kind of a more of a, a teaching or, or showing some stuff uh, as opposed to discussion eras. And if you ever have any questions, please use the raise hand button. Uh, you can also just kind of raise your hand in the screen, but it's easier for me um, as moderating that you use the raise hand button because then it'll bump you up to the top of my queue. So I see you immediately. And then I can stop at the end of a section and we can address any questions that might be on there. Uh, questions, comments, anything like that. So that's the preferable way to do it.